yes, out in the winter weather, sunny today, it's just beautiful. It's the first day it's like this. Oh, I'm just completely exhausted. I think I've gone 300 meters, but some of the snow was over half a meter deep, so I just spent all my energy on that getting here. So you can't really drive the car here because they haven't plowed away the snow, so we have to find other places to to park. So I parked there before, but it's a long time ago, three, four years. So my car doesn't stand in the way for anything. There was a bus and it passed me easily. So, you know, I was going to be here. A couple of hours going to make my campfire and make some food, but just check the hut and then go back. This is the only way I can do it now. I can't park any closer than I have done, so we just we will see. So a little bit of break here. Here is our oven, which we shall get down to the hut. It's kind of disappeared into the snow, so you just can't forget about that. I don't have any energy left. I can get 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 down, you know. Remove some snow, make some food, and then just go back to the car. But you know, you won't get any better weather here. So the sun will set, you know, maybe in like an hour. I just have to use the time effi efficiently. Very nice today. You know. <laughs> I think that oven oh, never weighs 20 kilos too, so <laughs> I was thinking about having it in there, but let's just forget about that. There have to be more people, better planned. This is very spontaneous. I'm down by the hut. And, uh, you know, <laughs> wow. It's completely covered in snow here. Here is not that much, I can get into the hut if I just use a little bit of time. So I need a shovel. So, that is just, you know, wow, it's just beautiful now. In the winter element. But you know, I didn't expect this much snow. <laughs> but it's been worse, it has been worse when I've been there before. You just have to remove some snow and get into the hut. I hope there is a shovel there. I think maybe there is. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Then I know I have to go back too. So. <laughs> wow, well, the trim, you know, it's very good trim. So I need it. I didn't expect to be in so bad shape, you know. It's the age, 45, I'm sick, you know, kind of, you know. But, you know, I'm still moving around, still moving around. The clock is still going, the feet is still going, the mind is still going. We are still doing it. <laughs> We have to be positive. Look at that beautiful sight there over there. Man, it was, it was worth it just to see that sun over the mountain. It was worth the trip. You kind of feel, you know, the connection with nature and, you know, you belong in nature. You are from nature and you will go back to nature. That's just how it is. Think about that for a moment. I made it in. I have to use my hands. I have a shovel here. So you can shovel a little bit around. Wow. Are there some fuel? Yes, there are. Good. I can get fire on the campfire. 
Wow. I was here about a month ago, I think. One and a half month. It was okay here. So. You can't really use the oven because it's. It has some issues. Here. It leaks warm. So you have to. Have to uh, swap it out. I can't use this though. So. We have gas. Can I don't know how to use this. I never used it before. I guess it's just to put it on and now sweep up this. I really don't need to use the gas today, I just need to make a fire outside. Yeah, we got the fire going. <sighs> wow. I had to remove the snow here. Look at all the snow, wow. It's been worse before. I had to just, I've done it. Yeah, the simplest way I can just to remove the snow which I needed to remove just to come around here, walk a little bit. So the sun will soon set down. I will give it a while, maybe 30 minutes. And it's, of course it's going to get colder. I don't know, I just want to get the campfire going and uh, we we'll warm some water and make some food. We are going to make Lars Monsen's carbonara. You know, it's not much to brag about, but I guess it's better than nothing. Let me see here what we have. We have this the usual stuff. Did I, did I bring it? Yeah, I brought it. Did I? Here it is. Large Monsons Carbonara. You know, if you want to follow a guy, you know, and learn, you learn from this guy, you know. Large Monson, he's the best there is. He has been everywhere. So, and this is okay, you know, food that satisfies. It's okay, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. But you know, look here, you know. I was thinking, am I going to stay home today? Or am I just going to jump into it and just take on my cheese and drive? And I did. And look. It was worth it. Although, my energy levels, you know. It's not the same one, what they were when I was 30, you know, so. But we can still do it, I can still do it. That's the most important thing. You know, I was lucky that we had some fuel left too, because I, the last time I was here in, I think it was in November, early November, late October, and I bought, there was still some left. So, yes, let it just burn. So, kind of sad I had to go alone today. So that's just, my father didn't want to come. He was saying tomorrow, but you know, I don't know. If they are going to fix the parking lot and uh, remove the snow, yes, but I don't think it is very clever to stand where I'm standing parked, you know, for a couple of hours, yes, but not for longer. So, it's just been snowing for one week and just, then it just, it's everywhere. Typical Mars, February Mars here. 
March. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to wait five minutes for the Lars Monsons carbonara to get finished. I had some meat in it, some sausages. Sun is soon setting down over there. So, but uh, the days will become brighter and brighter now. So maybe we can get another salmon here in the summer or a nice trout. It wasn't very good last year. But the year before there I got the uh, salmon here. And uh, I always get some trouts here, you know, but I haven't caught a really big trout here, maybe three or four hectares. I hear stories about half a kilo and a kilo trouts being dragged up, but you know, what the hell are they having on their worms, on their baits? <laughs> ah, well, you got to be glad with what you get, I guess. You still have to go back to the car. <laughs> ah. Yes, hello. I'm inside the hut here. It's Lars Monsen's carbonara. I have some sausages in it. It's quite okay, you know. It's not bad. So it's like 40-50 crowns. It lasts a couple of years in the dry status. Yes, the king. The king of carbonara. The sun is going down, so it's going to be come colder now. So I just want to eat and then pack and then go. I want to freeze the ass of me, you know, over the mire marsh. So let's eat first. Have some uh, seasoning on it, and uh, yes, <sighs> yes, I eaten the large monson. It was good, you know, with a little bit of sausages in it, and you know, not bad for a easy meal. Yeah, the campfire is out too, so it's kind of ended itself. Yes, I'm going to pack and I'm going to, yeah, lock the door and we're going to go home. It was very nice, but it gets a lot colder, you know, when the sun goes down. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going home, had problems locking the door. I have to get the crowbar, but this was frozen, stiff. So I have to find something else to get up the crowbar, and then I got it. The door locked, I just covered the campfire in snow. And now, you know, it's much colder now, but it's still beautiful. Sun is still shining behind the mountains. Let's just get to the car and get home. It was a nice trip. Yes, yes, so you're up, been down there, wow, quite cold now, I guess it's minus four, three or four I think, so, nice trip, yes, I'm up uh, by the, the, the house, this is that thing, don't think it's anyone living here. So I think I'm going to follow the road. People going here. Follow the road, go over the road and just go to the car, go home. Wow, I just... It's not a long trip, but you know, it's enough for me. With this fucking sickness, you know. It's just... Autoimmune sickness just... Drains you all the time for your energy. So, but you know, I could have go, could have gone further. No, I think I can go longer than this, but you know, kind of, I don't want to get tired, you know, in the evening. Ah, yes. See you by the car. car. So I went over the barge over here. You see the tracks here. Went over the road, up there. See it from here, I guess. So, yes. Nice trip. Was okay standing here just for a couple of hours. Not too 
recommend it, but there was no way I could go over there by the greenhouse, you know, stand over there because my car, I don't have four wheel tracks, or what do you call it, four, four by four tracking on the wheels. <laughs> English sucks sometimes. Okay, goodbye. See you.